So let's see what the core image minimal has and uh, what it contains and how it builds. So I'm in the Poké directory. I have done the source OE init script. And now I'm going to go into this environment file of core image minimal. Now the environment file is loaded. Let's just uh, quickly run through this uh, variables once. Here as we are looking uh, specific for core image minimal, let me search the core part here. Here, <clears throat> You can see that core image base install. So this part will be installed in your core image minimal. So in the root FS, whatever is present in this two will be a part of your image. It's not like whatever is there in Pokey will be considered and included in your core image minimal. So let's see what these two are. So these two are some package group. One is for boot, one is for extended. So if we do find in Poki directory itself. So there is one BB file name package group core boot. If I go inside this, it says the minimal boot requirements. So the minimal set of packages required to boot the system. As the name suggests, it's core image minimal, which is used to boot your image into the hardware, the base set. So this will provide the minimum booting requirements. As you see, this is one kind of package group, the DB class. We will go through that later. So if you see the R depends, whatever is there in R depends will be a part of your image. So first thing is base files. So there will be one more BB file name base file. Okay, here it is. We will not go through this in detail. We just see what it has, what it says. This description says that the base files package create the basic system directory structure and provide a small set of key configuration file for the system. So as the name suggests, it will create the directory structures like the uh, boot, boot directory, dev directory, home directory. Likewise, this will create the directory structure. So this is how your root FS will be created. Okay, one can go through this and understand this in detail, what all the directories are mentioned here and how it does its job. The next thing is base password. So as the name says, it has something related to the password. So when you boot your image, it will ask for the password. So this will generate the necessary files for that. Master copy of the user database files. This is the path where your passwords will be present. The update password tool is also provided to keep the system database synchronized with these master files. Okay, so hope you understood what this will give, how you have to just uh, go into this and understand it. Apart from that, base utils. So this is virtual runtime. For that, we have to do grep in the directory to find it. So 
base virtual runtime equal to walk. So there are several assignments made here in this. From this, which is picked, we want to see. So for that, we will go to this environment file and search for it. So here virtual runtime base util is busybox. So whatever the base utility is provided by busybox will be used. Okay, so this is what your base util is. The next is the distro feature, machine feature and all. So this is, if this is set, to this system find it, then this will be called. This is uh, described here, initialized here, the same way if keyboard is present in machine features, other things will be called and same way EFY. So let's just keep it. Let's just uh, see what net base is. For that, I will search the recipe file for it. Okay, we found it. This is the basic TCP IP networking support included. Okay. Next is virtual runtime login manager. So let's just first grab it here, see what all the options available. And then we will check the environment file and see what is set for core image minimum. Okay, so busybox, shadow base. Uh, yeah, these two things are <clears throat> present in the meta directory. And if I check it here, you will see busybox is selected. So mostly busybox is, busybox is selected for all those purposes. because it will create everything in less size. Here system D, system phi in it, both are there. For our core image minimal, system phi in it is set. So you can change this as well in local.conf or in your image, image recipe, you can make changes for it. You can change from system phi to system D and then you can work with that so it's up to you this is what core image minimal provides there are some other images which might uh, use system d so the dev manager is udev some somewhere it's udev somewhere is busybox mdev system d is also there for our core image minimal let's see Yes, dev manager is not present here. Maybe it's not searching it properly. Anyway, let's move further and see. Dev, man dev manager will be, I guess, busybox mdev itself because everywhere Busybox is used. Here, the update alternatives is this OPKG. So the OPKG is the tool which install, remove, or upgrade the packages. So this is used as your update alternative. Okay. Then the mas machine essential extra R depends. That is V86D. So what is that? So list of required machine specific packages to install as a part of your image being built. Okay, so this is essential for this machine. 
this you can search recipe file i think you will find it let's try one time yeah the recipe file is there you can directly check it once so that was the boot now one more extended was there core image extended let's see from here so i hope you understood the minimum required boot structure password and how it is created as a part of your image so here core group package group base extended is the name so let me find it So here is your recipe file. Package group base, extended, distro base, machine base. So this will give you the base things. Apart from that, if anything from here is set in machine feature, let's suppose Bluetooth is set, it will call all the necessary packages required for Bluetooth similarly for wi-fi and so on so this is your extended is there depends upon your usage only distro base machine machine base these things are there other things you have to manually enable it setting machine features and distro features in local.conf and then you will see the necessary files and packages will be installed as a part of your core image minimum. So you can have a look at it and see what all the options you have and try to enable them and see what extra files are added in your root FS. Okay, so <clears throat> I think now you have a better understanding of core image minimal and how to add these things in your image. Here I will go through some variables which are useful while working with core image minimal. So D, if you see the D, D is the destination where your output will be present. So in core in work directory, you see this is the machine camo x8664 in that you go to core page minimal the version and the image directory here your output files will be present now if you see here the depends variable is set with some cross compilation tool chain and wrappers which are used for cam as our machine is cam x8664 not just x8664 it requires some cross compilation tools as well here you see the deploy directory variable is set so in temp you go to deploy images and this your machine name and there your output output root fs and image and kernel and everything will be present this is how you understand any kind of any kind of component
Okay, so that's it for now. Once I get some other information, I'll uh, create one more uh, lecture and uh, post it so that you can have a look at it and understand this better.